In this lesson, I will show you how to connect to Postgres from the script. So uh, to do so, we'll need to set up some configuration boilerplate. So I'm going to go to the app directory, and I'll create a new folder, and I'll call this lib. And in here, I'll create another folder called server, where we'll keep our server-related code. And then I'll create a file and I'll call this config.ts and in here I want to import load env or let's see uh, load env config from next env and then project dir equals process dot current working directory load env config project dir and I'm going to create a config object here and I'll have a Postgres URL and here I'm going to read from our environment variable Postgres URL and I'm going to export this configuration object. Um, all right, so the next file we'll need is the database file, so db.ts. And in here, I'm going to import so um, I'm not getting the autocomplete here. and. I think that's because I didn't install the uh, types for PG. So I'm going to go ahead and install some uh, some of the types that we need now. So I'm going to go back here and npm install save dev types PG. And I'm also going to install the types for bcrypt as well. Okay, I'm going to go back to VS Code, and here I will import the client from PG, and I also want, uh, I guess the client is, is what we need for now. So here I'm going to export a function called get client, and it's going to return a client object, and I'll initialize a client here and it takes a connection string and I want to import our config object so that I can pass the Postgres URL to it okay and I'm going to return this client all right so now that I have this exported function I can import this into my seed script. So let's go back to the seed script here and I'm going to create uh, an async function called seed and I'm going to execute or invoke that function there and I'm going to import get client from uh, that function that we just created. And in here, I'm going to get a client by calling a function like this. And I'll have to connect to it. And uh, let's run a query. So the result wait client dot query. And I'm just going to do a select one to make sure that our connection is working. And after that, let's uh, let's log out the rows.
in our result. Okay, so let's see if this worked. So I'm going to go back to the terminal and uh, I'll run an npm run seed. Oh, uh, class password must be a string. We didn't add the um, environment variable yet. So let's go back to VS Code and create another file here called .env.local. And in here, I'll have to create an environment variable, call it Postgres URL. I'm going to give it a connection string. So the format for that is Postgres colon slash slash. And then that is the username colon the password at the host. And then the port number. And then the name of the database. Markdown app. Okay, so now that I have this environment variable here, um, let's go back to our terminal and run this script again. Okay, so it looks like uh, our script is working. You can see that it's returned um, a result with one. Uh, however, our script is sort of just hanging there so I think what we need to do is to um, end the client. So let's go back to our script. And uh, here we can run await client.end. OK, so let's go back to the terminal. I hit Control C to exit out of that. And I'm going to run npm run seed again. Okay, so this time it didn't hang uh, and it exited properly.